Hey guys, so in this video I want to show you how to use the conservation of energy equation to solve problems where we're going to have multiple objects moving together as a system. Let's check it out. So something like this here, I have multiple objects moving together and it says here when we're dealing with multiple objects we'd still use only one equation. If you remember when we did this with forces, F equals ma, if you had two objects, you would write F equals ma twice. Here, we're going to use just one equation, the big energy equation, but you have to consider the energy of each object individually, independently. So let's check it out. Um, here I have a system is released from rest, so the initial velocity is zero. The five kilogram object, this one right here, um, is initially three meters above the floor. So this gap here, um, I'm going to it's going to be released, it's going to fall, so I'm going to do this. Three meters. Let's call this object A, let's call this object B. Okay, so if the five kilogram is initially three meters above the, above the floor, calculate its speed just before it hits the ground. So I want to know what is the final speed of object B, VB final. But remember, this is a system, and in systems, the when you have a connected system like this, all the objects move with the same speed and they also have the same acceleration. So when I ask for the final velocity of the five kilogram, I could have just as well have asked for the final velocity of the four kilogram or the final speed of the four kilogram and it would have been the same. And I could also have asked for the final speed of this system. So it's all the same. I'm just gonna think of this as V. They're all gonna have the same V final, okay? Now, once the five kilogram drops three meters, this guy has to go up and it's gonna go up the same amount. If this drops three, this goes up three. So I'm gonna draw this over here as well. Three meters. So the block B starts here. So the initial height of block B is three and the final height of block B is zero. And for block four, block A, um, it's the opposite. The initial height starts here, so the initial height is zero, and the final height is three. So they basically swap places. Cool? Let's write the energy equation. Kinetic initial, potential initial, plus work non-conservative, kinetic final, potential final. The reason why we're going to use the energy equation is because I'm being asked for final velocity or final speed, and the energy equation deals with that. It deals with changes in speeds, uh, with changes in heights, right? So it's a good use of the energy equation here. But I have to consider every object individually. I'm gonna first write the long version of this, but don't get scared, you don't have to do it every time. But I just wanna show you all the different elements you have here. There are two objects, so when I talk about kinetic initial, it's kinetic initial of A plus kinetic initial of B. Uh, potential energy here, potential energy here is gonna be just the gravitational potential energy, MGH, but I have two objects, so it's U, A, um, U initial A, and U initial B. Then there's the work done by non-conservative forces on either one of the two objects, um, which here will be simply zero because there's no friction. It says here that we can disregard friction and there's no external force, right? So, and then I have kinetic and potential, so it's the same thing. K final A plus K final B plus U final A plus U final B. These are all the possible energies. There are eight of these things, but again, as you get better with this, you don't have to write all of them because you're immediately going to recognize that some of them are zero. For example, the system starts from rest, which means nothing's moving, so there's no initial kinetic energy. You could have very well have just crossed this out. Okay, now the potential energy. In the beginning, this guy starts at three, and this guy starts at zero. So there's no potential energy for block A, only for block B. At the end, you get the opposite of that, the inverse of that, they flip places. So at the end, the A has potential energy, but the B has no potential energy. So U final B is zero. So I have initial B and final A, okay? Initial B, and final A. All right, so, and then I have kinetic energy of both of these guys because they both have speeds after this thing moves, right? So I can start writing this out here. This is gonna be MB GH initial. This is the initial height of B, so if you wanna put all the little letters, um, equals half MA VA final, half MB VB 
final and they're all squares um, plus this guy here M A G H A final those are all the letters um, one thing to realize is that the this V here is the same so instead of calling it I'm gonna say same V instead of calling it VA final or VB final I'm just gonna call it V final which means that if these two are the same I'm gonna be able to combine them okay so let's start plugging in some numbers here the mass at B is right there 5 gravity I'm gonna use 10 the initial height is 3 okay this is gonna be half the mass of A is 4 um, V final squared this is what I'm looking for plus half mass of B which is 5 V final squared this is what I'm looking for plus mass of A 4 10 final height is 3 as well notice that the initial height of one is the same as the final height of the other because they swap places now all we have to do is solve for all we have to do is solve for v final in this equation so I have here this is gonna be 150 this whole thing here is gonna be 120 so it's gonna come here as a negative and then I can combine these guys I get a 2 v final from the first plus 2.5 v final from the second this adds up to very simple 4.5 v final squared so v final will be this is a 30 over here divided by 4.5 and then you got to take the square root of both sides when you plug this into your calculator you get approximately 2.58 meters per second and that is your v final for both objects again it didn't matter that i asked you for the final speed uh, for one it's the same for both of them okay now one last point that i want to make here is i want to talk about the kinetic final right here okay I'm gonna do a different color um, I want to talk about kinetic final right here, which becomes this, which then eventually becomes this. Okay, kinetic final, you can think of it as half MA V final plus half MB V final, right? You can think of it that way. Or notice what happens the V's are the same. So, really, what's going on is you end up with something like this half. V final squared MA plus MB notice that the masses combine into a single velocity so you can think of it this way the kinetic final of the system is just half big M V final squared where big M is just the sum of all the masses M1 plus M2 plus all the masses etc okay so from now on to make life a little bit simpler we can just write kinetic final as um, treating all the objects as uh, the entire system as just one big mass be and you can do that because all the masses move together instead of writing this and then taking a little bit longer to combine everything cool so here in this case big m would have been four plus five equals nine all right so i have another example here let's jump into that